Hi everyone. So uh, in this video, I'll be configuring port security in Cisco Packet Tracer. So I head over and pick up a network device. In this case, a switch. Place it on the workspace and go to my end device. Pick up a laptop or a PC and place it on the workspace. So I'll go to my connections and pick up a copper straight through cable and connect to the fast and the zero slash one port to the fast and the zero uh, port on the laptop. So I'll click on my switch here and go to my CLI. In my CLI, I'll navigate to the user exec mode. From here, I'll move out, move out from the exec mode to the config, global configurational mode. And let's give the, let's configure the host name of this switch to SCS1 and uh, call the interface fast and zero slash one, which this laptop is connected to zero slash one. And the uh, switch ports, mode access, it's enter. After this, I'll type in another command, which is switch, switch port, port security, port security. And hit enter for my keyboard and uh, type in again switch uh, port, port security, and then maximum. So, how many this command actually means? How many uh, devices would I want to? Uh, would I want uh, to access this port, this particular port or interface? I want only one uh, device. And then next thing is to attach the, um, is to attach um, the uh, MAC address. Sorry, it's MAC address. So I'll type in switch port, port security, uh, MAC address, and then uh, sticky. Hit enter for my keyboard. And then uh, next thing is I want to uh, restrict the port access from any other device. So I'll type in switch port, um, port security. Validation restrict, restrict. I'll hit enter for my keyboard. So we're done configuring this. So I can save this and um, I can save this. And in order for me to know if this is actually correct, so I'll, I'll pick up some device. I mean, this is device two, laptop three, laptop one, laptop two, laptop zero. So I will connect, I'll connect this. Connect this and uh, now I, in case, let me give an IP address to each of this PC, 192.168.1.1.1, tab key. And then I will come to PC2, uh, laptop one, sorry, and give an IP address of 192.168.1.2, uh, let's say two. So let's say two and the subnet max. Now, in case I want to ping, if I ping this device, if I ping this device, there will be, there should be a reply. Ping 192.168.1.2, I ping, I ping this device and you could see that it did reply. So now in case I want to take off this cable, copper straight through cable and wire this computer and then, um, and then give the same IP address. Let's say we'll give the same IP address, 192.168.1.2. The tab key, and you could see that the 
you can see that this IP is the same with laptop zero, the same, no change, just that I have disconnected the cable from it. So, but um, it's port, uh, the MAC address of this, um, of this laptop zero have been saved in, in the configuration, in the memory of this switch. So if I try to ping from this laptop, which, is, which has an unknown MAC address, it should give us an error 192.168.1. Uh, this one is uh, two, so I'm pinging dot two. You can see that it didn't reply immediately. It's unable to reach out uh, to this other laptop. This is the reason, this is the essence of port security. It's an unknown, the switch cannot recognize the MAC address of this device because it has not been configured. And the MAC address of this device was only configured for it alone, which we said maximum of one. So this is basically what uh, the essence of port security is. So thank you so much for watching. Hope to see you in my next video. And in case that you like this video, in case you did enjoy watching it, please help, uh, help to like the video and uh, subscribe to my channel. Thank you so much for watching. Bye-bye.